our speaker uh, is in his compliment, compliment communicator manual, Five to Seven Minutes, The Death of Modern Journalism. Paul. responsibility falls squarely on the shoulders of modern journalism. There's still violence in Darfur. Tensions between Israel and Iran continue to escalate. The suicide rate in the U.S. Army is up 80 percent. And the number of children who are homeless in this country is the highest it has been in American history. But apparently, we have time to dedicate a couple of hours to coverage of celebrity weddings. Remember Prince William and Kate Middleton? There were specials on, in the days leading up to that. There was live coverage, and they were even covering it after it happened. Another one that spent a lot of time in the news was the wedding of Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes before they entered into wedding bliss for less than six years. And who can forget the fairy tale wedding of Kim Kardashian, the NBA player, Chris Humphreys? Wait a minute. Fairy tales were supposed to be on happily ever after. Not for 72 days and she probably <laughs> faked the marriage to make money anyway. But that's the sort of ridiculous slang journalists are covering these days. On those days, if you went to the news media to become educated about the world around you, that's what you got. And it doesn't seem to be getting any better. Before I go any further, I want to let you know. In my personal estimation, there is a political angle to this story, but I want to avoid that. <clears throat> because I think that this transcends politics, and no matter where our political allegiances lie, we should be able to find some common ground. For instance, no matter how you feel about the health care reform bill, we should all be able to agree that it is a very significant bill as it remakes one-sixth of our economy. So, surely the media would prioritize that and not give in to some trumped-up distraction, right? Wrong. We watched an empty balloon float around on the news for two hours. You guys remember the balloon boy story? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, granted, we thought a child might be in the balloon. But the fact remains, we watched an empty balloon float around for two hours. Meanwhile, Congress was debating a bill that remakes one-sixth of our economy. Apparently, the father of the boy perpetrating the home was hoping to get a reality show, because the world needs more of those. <laughs> but he believed that the world was going to end in 2012 at the end of the Mayan calendar. And so he was hoping to make enough money so he could build himself an underground bunker for when the sun explodes. Which I wish was a factoid. <laughs> Scientists and Mayans themselves have debunked the theory that it's supposed to end the, this year. But then again, Snooky from the Jersey Shore is pregnant. <laughs> I saw it on the news. <laughs> Put me right along. In some countries, people take to the streets and demand the right to vote, that corruption in their government be cleaned up, or that some great injustice be rectified. And when a people comes together like that, they can accomplish great things. So maybe the people of the United States can come together and with one voice, you know what, never mind. We're too busy fighting with each other over chicken. <laughs> and that's a fight the media has sensationalized. But that's something they do. They play on sensationalism very well and are anger. But oftentimes, I think the anger gets misguided. <clears throat> the shooting of Gabrielle Giffords and 18 other people in Tucson, Arizona, and the recent Aurora, Colorado shooting are nothing short of tragedies. But what's also sad is many in the media seized on the opportunity to push the gun control issue. But both of these shooters had documented mental health issues. And I said I was going to get political, and I'm not. 
I'm getting personal. I have admitted to this group that I've had my own struggles with mental health issues. And I want to know why there isn't more of a push to get more people the help that these men obviously needed. The shootings were not the first of their kind, and the harsh reality is they won't be the last. There was one in Milwaukee yesterday, in fact. But if we can somehow get rid of the stigma of seeking professional help for mental health issues, or make these resources more readily available, maybe some of these horrific events can be avoided. And that's the sort of thing that journalism should be used for. Making our lives better, raising the important issues, <laughs> or holding up the flaws of society so we know what to fix. Instead, it's being used to fuel the rumor mill, making it of no real value to anyone. And that's a death of purpose. And that is why modern journalism is dying. Madam Justice.